co-director with Dave Morris. Um, rest week for the first 15 last weekend, but on to Waterdale this week. How are you preparing with the guys for that? Uh, having a rest week gives us a little bit of flexibility, so we actually send three players to uh, go and train with a, a championship side, so they can sample the potential exit club, and that club can, can look at our players, um, which works well for us. Uh, we did a lot of fitness testing on, uh, on Wednesday as well. Absolutely delighted to see that all the good work of our s &T guys are, are getting the guys fitter, which is something we identified uh, just after, after Christmas. Um, and that's very much about understanding how important rest is in uh, a bit of a slog of a league like uh, National, National One with so, so many fixtures. Um, so hopefully the guys manage to find some time to uh, get out of Loughborough and change the environment, catch up with families and, and, and friends outside of the bubble. And uh, I think that will lead to a real freshness to uh, our training week going, going in, into Wolfdale. And uh, we've previewed really well, we know what we want to do. Uh, we've got some uh, big selections, um, which we're just about to, to go into now to select for, for the league and the uh, Bucks Court final on, on Wednesday. So a, a huge, exciting week for, for the club and uh, it, it, just the, the energy around, around the place about coming into the business end of the, the season now. This is where you know people really, really step up and show what they're all, all about, performing under pressure. Love it. And there's been some interesting stuff with some local alumni uh, this week going on. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it's, it's just good to see. Probably when you get a down week, you get a chance to look through a bit of spetto through team sheets and uh, watch a bit of rugby on, on TV. And it, it's just nice seeing a lot of these alumni playing in, in Premiership. So Henry Taylor. Uh, I believe it's his uh, first involvement with uh, the Premiership squad. Uh, Henry was obviously with us last year, so he's on the bench for Saracens. Uh, Harry Williams, uh, who's probably in this photo behind us here, actually, um, he got his first uh, Premiership start for Exeter Chiefs, and Will Chudley is obviously involved in, uh, in that matchday squad as well. Charlie Matthews, who's you know, been a cemented first team regular for, for a long time as well. So brilliant seeing the alumni um, performing at the top level of, of English rugby. Uh, and then you've got guys, uh, Rob Conquest and Ian Kench, who started in the uh, second row for England Counties on, on Friday night. Uh, and obviously, Kieran, absolutely delighted because the Scotland Clubs 15 uh, smashed England Counties, which is a bit of a shock to, to everyone, but nonetheless, we're still really, really proud of, of those guys. Um, and finally, uh, what do you make of the Six Nations this weekend? Uh, it was good. I thought uh, Wales had a really, really solid win against France. I thought they, they shut them out well. Um, I thought the England Island game. Uh, I think if uh, that try had been uh, awarded where they're over the line, but no clear evidence that the balls touched down, I think that could have been really interesting with England with the man down, with uh, uh, seeing out the remainder of the game. And uh, the Italy Scotland game looked pretty convincing to, to Scotland in, in the end, but maybe if Parisi had taken the three as opposed to uh, had a tap and, tap and run himself, it, you know, again, the, the, the dynamics of pressure on Scotland could, could have changed. But, um, Six Nations is just a, a, a brilliant competition and uh, uh, you know, it gets plenty of spirit going from everyone. So who can beat um, Final win in the league for the second 15 um, on Wednesday. Um, are you proud of boys for finishing unbeaten this year? Yeah, I said after the game didn't I? It was um, yeah, an incredible achievement that, 12 out of 12. And for, for any team it's something special. And um, Yeah, really proud of the way we've done it as well. I think really humble and just kept our feet in the ground when game by game uh, guys have been really honest in their performance uh, background teams have been really honest in their performance as well so uh, really pleased with everything and um, yeah as I said we're taking it game by game and now we're rolling into the quarterfinals on Wednesday night lights um, so just great looking forward to it. Um, yes uh, court final on Wednesday hopefully we'll get the crowd out for the boys how are you preparing for that game? Uh, it's it's a big week for the club, in all honesty. So we've got uh, quarterfinals for the second fifteen on Wednesday night. Uh, then Saturday, first team at Wolfdale away, which obviously the league position doesn't lie. That's a, a big game for both teams. Um, so it, it is a big week. It's a big, hopefully, a big couple of weeks. Um, 
for both teams. Um, and we'll be preparing for it the same as every other. We've just decided, you know, training week's exactly the same. Uh, Monday night review is the same. Um, and, you know, we've been successful with that, especially with our second team, so we're going to continue with that. Um, first team will feel we're performing well, we're just not getting quite the right results. So we'll find marginal gains um, here and there, and, um, you know, we'll come good. Um, and finally, uh, what you make the Six Nations this weekend for that weekend off? I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it for the first time in a couple of years. Uh, it was great. It was great. I sat and watched it. And, um, you know, I can remember performances which Scotland have, have won in the, in the past and just thought, oh, it's not been that great a game, but I think we've thoroughly deserved it. Um, and it's great just being able to walk in here and actually speak about our Scotland. A bit. <laughs> so here's your tutor. Um, really good to see the second 15 in the Bucks uh, league season um, unbeaten. Um, what do you make of the guys' performance in Leeds on Wednesday? Yeah, really good. Um, it, obviously, a little bit of pressure on because it was the last game in, in the league uh, in the league stages, and um, yeah, I, I think although we didn't talk about much, that that unbeaten record was was important for that. So uh, they, yeah, Leeds were a good team as well. As, the journey out there, and there was a, some distractions around the, uh, the, the game as well with um, uh, a women's game on beforehand. So lots of little things that could have slipped us up. And, uh, and this first half was a little bit scrappy as well. So the leads, leads, leads fought hard, and they just chucked everything at us. Um, and we sort of we had a bit of a scrappy first half. We came in at half time and uh, had a chat and a bit, sort of, some quite honest conversations. And the guys came out in the second half and, and, and played really well, and we ended up winning. Uh, convincingly, 60 other points to the 14, and um, yeah, ran off the league season unbeaten, which was uh, a, a, a certain target of myself and Kieran. We had that in our minds at the beginning of the year. Uh, the players sort of bought into that on the way, and um, yeah, it's a good reward. I mean, it's, 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 uh, it's, a, it's a hell of an achievement. That's uh, some tough away trips up, up to the uh, northeast, and uh, these, these back here at Carnegie are uh, obviously a very good team as well. So to come out of this league. Uh, 12 for 12 was, was very impressive for that, showed a lot of character and ability. Um, on to the um, quarter final of the Bucks Championship with the second 15 this week. How are you preparing with the guys for that? Uh, yeah, it's going to be a tough one. Uh, Cardiff Met play in the uh, Welsh Premiership, so they've got some pretty physical players, but decent experience players as well. So um, we, you know, we'll, we'll approach this game as we approach all the other ones. We're going to be working hard this week in training. Um, and um, we're going to go out and try and play uh, our best rugby to, to win it. Um, that starts with set piece and that defence. So we need to make sure we're, we're sort of executing uh, as well as we can when we've got the ball in hand. Um, on to the Wolfdale with the first 15 after a West Week. Um, how are you playing the guys for the long term there? Uh, yeah, again, okay, another, another sort of crunch game really. We'll get to the stage now where you know, they virtually must win, so we've certainly got to get points out of them. Um, and yeah, the, the guys had a bit of a lighter week last week with no game on Saturday and um, I think we'll sort of hit the ground running this week. We'll start with uh, some analysis tonight and looking forward to what Wolfdale will bring and the sort of conditions up there as well. They've been very, very heavy up there. Um, you know, the weather's not been fantastic in the north, so um, it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be a tough week, week for the guys. I think uh, mentally getting themselves back into sort of uh, playing mode after that week off uh, might be a bit of a challenge, but we've got to get back on the horse as quickly as possible. And, uh, like I said, we need to get something, desperately need to get something out of these next two games, uh, all for Dunham Blake. Um, and finally, what do you make of the Sixth Nation this weekend? Uh, yeah, interesting weekend. Uh, again, not, nothing really sort of uh, just right home about in terms of performances. Yeah, the Friday night was pretty dour, uh, Wales, France, and uh, yeah, the, 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 the games on Saturday were sort of interesting. I think England, England sort of just edged hard, and again, not a great game, but probably uh, another, is another step on the way to the championship for England if they, if, if they can keep that sort of momentum going into the Wales game would be important to two unbeaten teams clashing. Um, and yeah, Italy, Italy looked like they might give uh, Scots a bit of a scare but eventually sort of uh, run out of steam. So I mean it's it's it's, it's not been a, a classic six nation just yet but still some intriguing, intriguing games to come and um, from an English point of view home to Wales in a couple of weeks which will be a massive game and then We've got to go to Paris for the final weekend, and that's always a, always a challenge, regardless of how the French are playing. So, um, yeah, hopefully there might be a few more twists and turns, and uh, things might spark up a bit more.